What is a cryptocurrency wallet? Simply put, a crypto wallet is a tool you can use to interact with a blockchain network. The various kinds of wallets can be divided into three main groups – software, hardware, and paper wallets. But depending on their working mechanisms, they may also be referred to as hot or cold wallets. So how do they work? Contrary to popular belief, crypto wallets don't really store cryptocurrencies. Instead, they work as a sort of gateway, providing the tools you need to communicate with a blockchain. In other words, these wallets can generate all the information you need to use cryptocurrencies. Let's take a simple example. Imagine that Alice wants to build a brand new Bitcoin wallet to receive a payment from Bob. The easiest way for her to do that is to use a crypto wallet program. When Alice creates a new wallet, the program generates multiple pairs of public and private keys, along with several blockchain addresses. But to simplify, let's consider only one pair of keys and a single address. First, the program calculates the pair of keys, one public key and one private key. Next, the public key is used to generate a unique Bitcoin address. This is the address Alice needs to provide Bob. Bob then sends Bitcoins from his wallet to Alice's wallet. Note that the coins never leave the blockchain. They are just transferred from one address to another. While it's safe for Alice to share her Bitcoin address with others, she should never disclose her private key to anyone. The private key is used for signing new transactions and is what gives access to her funds. So even if Alice loses her computer or smartphone, she can use the private key to access her coins in any other device. She may even use a different wallet. But this also means that if anyone gets to know Alice's private key, they can steal her funds. Alice can also use her private key to recover her public key and blockchain addresses. Basically, the private key precedes all the other components, and that's why it's the most important element of a cryptocurrency wallet. In practice, however, most modern wallets make use of a seed phrase. Seed phrases can be used to generate multiple private keys. So, instead of making a backup of each private key in her wallet, Alice only needs to back up the wallet seed phrase. In other words, the seed phrase works like a root key. It gives access to all keys and addresses in Alice's wallet. Now that we covered the basics, let's explore the different types of crypto wallets. As mentioned, cryptocurrency wallets may be defined as hot or cold, according to the way they operate. A hot wallet is any wallet that is connected somehow to the internet. For example, when Alice creates an account on Binance and sends funds to her wallet, she is depositing into Binance's hot wallet. Hot wallets are convenient for traders and frequent users because they are easy to set up and the funds are quickly accessible. On the other hand, cold wallets tend to be a much safer alternative for Alice to store her bitcoins because they have no connection to the internet. Instead, they use a physical medium to store the keys offline and this makes them very resistant to hackers. This method is also known as cold storage and is particularly suitable for long-term investors. When it comes to the three main groups of crypto wallets, there are software, hardware and paper wallets. Software wallets come in at least three different types – web wallets, desktop wallets and mobile wallets. A web wallet allows Alice to interact with a blockchain via a browser interface, so she doesn't need to download or install anything on her computer. In contrast, a desktop wallet is a software Alice needs to download and execute locally in her machine. In general, desktop wallets are considered safer than web wallets. Lastly, we have mobile wallets, which work much like a desktop wallet, but are designed specifically as mobile apps. These are the ones Alice can use on her smartphone, giving her convenient access to her funds. Trust Wallet is a prominent example of a mobile crypto wallet. It supports multiple cryptocurrencies, and it is also integrated with the Binance Decentralized Exchange. Most software wallets are somehow connected to the internet, so they may also be referred to as hot wallets. What about hardware wallets? Hardware wallets are physical, electronic devices that use a random number generator, RNG, to generate public and private keys. The keys are stored in the device itself, without any connection to the internet. As such, hardware wallets may present a secure alternative for cold storage, especially for long-term holders. But funds stored in hardware wallets tend to be less accessible, making them somewhat inconvenient to traders and frequent users. Lastly, we have paper wallets. A paper wallet is a piece of paper on which a blockchain address and its private key are physically printed out, usually as QR codes. So Alice can generate and print a paper wallet and then send funds to it by scanning the QR codes. However, paper wallets present numerous flaws and their use is now discouraged. 
A major flaw of paper wallets is that they aren't suitable for sending funds partially, but only the entire balance, all at once. This flaw resulted in many people losing funds. Regardless of which wallet you choose, make sure to back them up regularly, as losing access to your crypto wallets can be quite costly. In many cases, this can be achieved by simply backing up the wallet data file and seed phrases. Summing up, the majority of crypto wallets are based on software, which makes them more convenient than hardware wallets. But hardware wallets tend to be the most secure alternative. Paper wallets, on the other hand, are deemed as obsolete and unreliable. Crypto wallets are an integral part of using Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Each wallet type has its advantages and disadvantages, so it's crucial to understand how they work before moving your funds. Make sure to check out our full article about crypto wallets and our other videos on Binance Academy.